This is the best way to showcase a step-by-step -step flow or process with a unique horizontal or vertical layout. Let's get started. First, make sure the Unlimited Elements Pro version is installed and activated on your WordPress site. Then, head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets, and use the search bar to find Step Process. Hover over it and click Install to add the widget to your site. Next, go to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the Step Process widget from the Widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. This widget supports dynamic data, including posts, Woo products, ACF repeater fields, JSON or CSV files, terms, users, menu items, and more. For our purpose, we'll use static data and leverage the items repeater to add our content. Here, you can reorder steps, add new ones, or remove unnecessary steps as needed. Use the title, text, and label fields to insert your content based on your specific requirements. You can now choose a graphic element to represent each step in your flow. In my example, I'll demonstrate using the icon field to upload a custom SVG icon. However, you could also opt for the icon library, text, or an image from the image library. Let's speed up the process a bit as I add the content for all items. Once you've added the content, you can start configuring the widget settings. Consider adding a graphic element animation for some interactivity on hover. You can easily toggle each part of the layout, like the title, text or label, on or off with the flip of a switch. The layout settings offer three options. A horizontal layout, a vertical layout, and a horizontal layout that switches to vertical at a specific breakpoint ensuring the widget looks great on all devices. In the connected widget settings, you can link the widget to another item-based widget using Sync or use other remote control widgets from the widget library to create advanced, flexible layouts here. In the example, you can see a step process widget connected to a content slider widget. Let's dive into the style settings and start configuring each section to suit our specific needs. Start off by customizing the divider thickness, spacing, and color, and then continue to customize the spacing, typography, and colors of every element in your step process widget to achieve a seamless blend with your website design. Once you have finished styling for desktop mode, we recommend switching to tablet mode to fine tune that view. After optimizing the tablet view, it's time to adjust the mobile settings. In this mode, the widget collapses into a more convenient vertical view. Let's resize the graphic elements and typography so that the content fits better within our canvas. To wrap up the video, I want to show you how you can override certain styles within the item settings. Each item offers additional color selection options allowing you to customize the look and feel of your step flow for a more personalized experience. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.